With your patient selected on the top left, tap on Automated Pure Tone Test. This will prompt the Test Setup screen. Select your transducers and then your test type with the Change buttons. Establishing a comfortable listening level is an optional step that you can use for test subjects with known hearing loss. Press the Play Tone button to see if they can hear 55 decibels loud and clear. If not, move up to 70 decibels and so forth. This will give the test subject an idea of how the tones will be presented during their test and will help to ensure that the first tone presented will be one they can hear loud and clear. The test will begin with an option to run through a tutorial for your test subject. This is designed to familiarize them with how the automated test works. You have the option to skip this step if it is not their first hearing test with Shoebox. When you start an automated test, you can touch the disc for 3 to 5 seconds to determine if you hear a tone or not. You can also tap the disc multiple times to make a rhythm. If you hear the tone, drag the disc up to the heard speaker. If no tone is heard, drag it down to the not heard speaker. You can also tap the disc and then tap the appropriate speaker. This action is repeated until all frequencies have been presented for both ears. You can also see where you are by checking the progress bar at the top of the screen. In the top left, you will see a pause button. This lets you review the, the test subject's current progress. You have an option to stop the test, continue the test, or turn on assisted mode. In assisted mode, you present the tone to the test subject and they give you a physical indication of whether or not they heard the tone you presented. For example, they may raise their hand, tap their finger, nod their head, etc. When the test subject completes the test, they will receive a message that tells them to hand the iPad back to the administrator. Shoebox will now automate the interpretation of results and display these for your review. Tap Patience at the top left to return to the home screen.